Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2017 love snapshot. This love snapshot is for Leo. You are the last of the signs to get your love snapshot uh, this month. Last but not least, my lovely Leos. Uh, Leo is my primary uh, sun sign as well. So I just realized my cat, you can't see it probably because of the lighting. My cat is behind the blinds in my window. So uh, we may at some point be video bombed by him. And of course, <laughs> how fitting that it might happen during the Leo video. So um, thank you for joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers. These love snapshots, which I started a couple of months ago, in addition to the other general readings I do on YouTube, are short three card readings meant to give uh, a look, a glimpse, just a snapshot of what may potentially lie ahead for love and romance for those both coupled and single uh, as well. Those who are in a relationship and those who are single and dating or think or single and thinking about getting back into the dating scene. So if you're not uh, looking for a love or relationship reading, uh, just stick with the generals at the beginning and middle of the month. Thank you. Always the thank yous first. Thank you for your likes, share, subscribes, all your support, feedback, and comments. Thank you to my regular clients for your consistent update on how our readings continue to play out. And a general thank you to all those of you who continue to reach out for personal one-on-one -on -one readings and keep me so busy doing those. It's an honor and a pleasure to read for you. And if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you haven't read with me before, you can click on the About or Description button on my channel's homepage for more information and my email address, which is Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I do a wide variety of readings, love and romance being one of them, and compatibility charting. Uh, finance and work, year overviews, gift readings, channeled messages, and so on. Turnaround time is pretty fast since I do readings full-time six days a week, so I'm usually able to get back with you pretty quickly and set up a reading anytime within a few days, upwards of two weeks, but almost always within a two-week period of time. So email me if you're interested. We'll go from there. So moving right along, these are general readings, the same as the others, so make sure to check your rising and your moon sign as well. They may play out a little more predictively for you or just give additional uh, insight and clarification into love and romance potentially for July 2017 because there's many of you watching. And so, of course, uh, not every Leo who watches this, it's not going to mean the same thing to every Leo watching it to the same degree. I mean, it could possibly. So check your rising and your moon sign if you know them and if you can. All right, let's get into this. What is in store for the fire sign of Leo? Leo the lion for July 2017 in love and romance. Love snapshot, three cards for Leo for the month of July 2017. Leo, July 2017. Okay, Leo, we have the 10 of wands <laughs> followed by the 10 of cups. And the lovers. I'm curious. Let me pull one more card. <laughs> I wanted to look at a fourth card. You got the Ace of Cups. New love and romance or perhaps new emotional awakenings. In uh, my cat. In an already established relationship. So you have two tens and the lovers. Tens represent the end of a cycle. So they also represent the coming full circle of, or full culmination of something. And this is actually quite a lovely reading. We begin with the Ten of Wands. Wands is fire energy, your energy, Leo. The Ten of Wands represents the end of a burden, something or something needing to come to an end. Uh, it could have been, it could be a, a burden, a cross you've had to bear uh, uh, for some of you who are committing, getting into a committed relationship. It could represent the end of kind of, you know, walking the path alone. It could represent something that started off as something pleasant but just ended up becoming a burden over time, or it could just be a challenge or a project that you put a lot into uh, coming full circle. In love and relationships, however, the Ten of Wands can represent two things. It can represent that um, the two of you are working very hard to keep each other happy. Re in the reverse, or conversely, um, if you're in a relationship, for those of you in established or committed relationships, sometimes the Ten of Wands can represent if you're going through a difficult time that either you or your partner may not feel like the other one uh, 
is doing everything they can, or you or your partner may feel like they're doing everything they can, but feeling uh, kind of unappreciated. Although with the Ten of Cups and the Lovers, I would have to say for the majority of you, this is very positive. For those of you who are single and dating and looking, if you have a love interest, uh, this would represent, or somebody that you are dating, this would represent that this person is interested uh, in doing things to make you happy or in doing things that they think will make you happy uh, and vice versa. For those of you in coupled relationships or committed relationships, uh, if you're going through a difficult time, this card would be an indication uh, that someone's feeling underappreciated for the efforts that they make in there, so be vigilant about that. Uh, but overall, in a positive way, it represents that both you and your partner are working pretty hard to keep each other happy. Now, in the middle, we have the Ten of Cups. It's a lovely, lovely reading. Cups is water energy, and in, this, in the tarot, the suit of cups is all about that watery, mercurial world of feelings, our emotional landscape, feelings, and relationships, all different kinds of relationships. In love and romance, just in general readings, the Ten of Cups represents happy home, family, harmony. It can represent love, marriage, children. Uh, it represents kind of a sense of continuity and stability, that place that you can kind of come, come back to at the end of a day where you feel like everything's in its right place, home and everything that kind of goes along with that. Cats always have this curiosity and getting into everything. I can hear him rustling around back there. It's a little distracting. In love and relationships, the Ten of Cups, it doesn't necessarily have to signify a fully committed relationship or marriage, but it does signify how the two of you feel when you're together. And it can also represent, it can also represent love and marriage as well. So in the month of July 2017, I mean, any way you look at this for singles or couples, this is a beautiful reading. Uh, for those of you who are dating or in a committed relationship but not married, this could represent the relationship moving to a deeper, more committed level. The two of you definitely are very happy together. You have a peace and a harmony together. You connect really well together. Uh, this can represent uh, moving in together, just having a happy home together as well. For those of you single and dating, It could just represent that you're pretty happy with how things are going in the love and romance sector of your life. Definitely home life looks to be pretty stable and happy and secure. Again, if you have a romantic interest or somebody that you are dating, this would represent that uh, they definitely do feel the feelings are mutual and are returned as well. Some of you, I feel, especially when I looked at the fourth card, the Ace of Cups, New Love and Romance, I do feel that a lot of people who are single and dating and looking for somebody, maybe you're not dating someone regularly, but you're looking for someone. I have a feeling that the two, that you may, the two of you, <laughs> couples, that, uh, that you will be meeting somebody, that you will be finding New Love and Romance uh, in the month of July with the Ace of Cups. We have the lovers as well. Again, the lovers can represent a, it, it represents a karmic relationship. The, the two of you are meant to be together for a reason, for those of you who are in a relationship, or those of you who do have a romantic interest. And again, it does represent that the feelings are mutual. The lovers, like the Ten of Cups, it doesn't necessarily <clears throat> promise a committed or established relationship, but rather it points to how the two of you feel when you're together, the feeling that's between the two of you when, when you're together. Very passionate, kindred spirit, soulmate, connected. Uh, there's no lack of heat in this relationship either. Uh, for those of you who are coupled or those of you who have someone that you're dating, a romantic interest, definitely the feeling is returned. They are in your life, for those of you who have someone, they are in your life for a reason. And then that reason is always to open your eyes about something. That's what karmic relationships and soulmate kindred spirits really mean. They, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're meant to be in your life for all of your life or the rest of your life. Sometimes they are and sometimes they're not. That karmic thread connects the two of you because there's a valuable lessons lesson or valuable life lessons that you're meant to learn from being with that person. Sometimes after that lesson is learned, the two of you part ways and sometimes you remain together. Uh, but it, it, it overall, for those of you who are coupled, um, you're definitely, it looks like your July is going to be a really good period for you. It just feels like every
every you're just getting along really well not only is there this loving uh, uh, close kinship friendship there's peace and harmony and there also looks to be Uh, a fair amount of, you know, heat and passion and good times, too. I'm, I am getting, too, for those of you who are coupled, there's something actually kind of, you're transitioning in the month of July. Something's coming to an end. Some of you may be going on vacation, but something's coming to an end in terms of your home. It could be for some of you, I'm getting that your children are leaving home or the last child is leaving the nest, maybe because we just had graduation. Um, so you're actually going to be transitioning into a, a new uh, part of your life for those of you who are coupled. It's kind of like the last child is graduated or going to college or getting married or something and leaving. So it's just you and your partner now and so there's a certain kind of portion of your life that's transiting into a natural end and so you're kind of taking a look forward at okay what now what are our plans now moving forward as a couple uh, for those of you who are single and dating too um, there it looks like something is also coming to an end for some of you who are meeting somebody new new love and romance new emotional awakenings in the month of July 2017 this could signify the end of just you know being single walking the path by on on your own kind of shouldering you know the day-to-day -day burdens of life on your own. Uh, some of you, in fact, in dating may have just finished, may have just graduated. Uh, so there's a certain kind of portion of your life that's coming to an end. Some of you may be leaving home as well. I'm getting that somebody who has been, who's in a long distance relationship or your partner has a uh, fair distance away that you're actually leaving to be with him or her in the month of July 2017. For those of you who are single and dating and uh, f um, meeting somebody, uh, potentially having new love and romance for the month of July 2017, it does have a lot of potential. And I feel like when you meet this person, you're going to feel that spark of attraction right off the bat. And you're going to feel that kind of kinetic... Uh, that kind of karmic connection I feel right in the beginning and I think that's actually how you're going to know them as well. For those of you coupled, I feel like there's going to be a, a kind of a reawakening or a resurgence of, of love, maybe some passion, maybe you guys are going away on vacation and uh, getting away for some time, particularly if you've been kind of stuck in a routine or kind of at a place in your relationship where it's just kind of the same day-to-day -day kind of stuff, getting away, going on vacation, getting a trip together where you're, where you're away from the day day-to-day -day concerns that you normally deal with is a really good way to reconnect with each other um, to kind of refresh or reawaken that spark between the two of you and re remind each of you, um, each other, what brought you together in the first place. I mean, single or coupled, it looks really good for July 2017. For those of you who are single and, and dating, even if uh, nothing significant happens to you in the month of July 2017, it definitely looks like... Um, it definitely looks like you're you're just feeling like life is you're in a pretty good place in life right now and I think you're going to have some pretty nice dating experiences in July anyway even if you don't meet the love of your life specifically in the month of July 2017. So Leo that pretty much wraps up your love snapshot for July 2017. I hope you have enjoyed it. Again if any of you Again, sorry. Again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you haven't read with me before, you can click on the About or Description button on my YouTube channel's homepage for more information and my email address and email me directly at Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I feel a little discombobulated during this, this, uh, this video, Leo, between my cat and my hair. Uh, anyway, I would be most happy to work with you, and uh, I will see you all again within a week for the mid-month general readings, and until then, as always, Leo, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, love, and a happy life. Take care, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.